Hi guys, this week on Big on Wine, a date with one of the daring Duro boys. Coming right up. Hi folks, welcome once again to Big on Wine, the channel that brings you news, clues and reviews about everything in the world of wine. And hey, if you're new here, why not consider subscribing? Yes, indeed. Today on this show, I'm going to introduce you to one of the Duro boys. What the hell am I talking about? You're asking yourself. Well, my wine of the week is this one here. It's a Crush to Superior and the vintage is 2014. Now, this is a vineyard where, in fact, I have visited a few years ago and was very, very impressed. Quinta do Crashtu is in the heart of northern Portugal's Douro Valley, about 120 kilometers east of Porto. And of course, this is the area where traditionally they have produced red grapes for the production of port wine. But up in the Douro, things have changed and are changing still very rapidly. A group of young winemakers uh, have banded together to produce excellent quality red wines up in the Douro there and also single Kinder port wines. And this is a good example of one of their red wines. This is produced by the Roquette brothers. Uh, at Quinta do Crashtu, and this is uh, Crashtu Superior and Vintage 2014. Now, as with many of these uh, red wines from the um, Douro Valley, these are blends of the traditional grape varieties that are used for making port. So in this wine, we have the Turiga Nacional, the Turiga Franca Tinta Roriz, which also goes under the name of Tempranillo, uh, Suzao, Tinta Cao, and Tinta Francisca. So this is a blend of multiple red varieties here. Normally planted on the same, in the same area of the vineyard, multiple different varieties harvested at the same time. Okay, now this wine is a big one in many ways. It's an absolutely gorgeous dark purple red color with a little bit of brown creeping in as well. So a lovely dark uh, color here. Um, this is a wine that has been in oak for 12 months. So there is going to be definitely a touch of leatheriness, I think, in this wine here. This is DOC Duro, 14.5% alcohol, so it's also pretty powerful as well. Okay, now, in the glass, of course, it's uh, <coughs> characterized by that dark, dense, intense purple-red color, breaking towards brown in places. Very, very attractive. Um, let's see what it's like in the nose. Mmm, now in the nose, I'm getting <clears throat> the first impressions are of spiciness and of a distinct um, toasty, leathery, um, dark berry aroma, blackberry aroma here. Um, maybe even with a little bit of sour cherry in there as well. It's a beautiful blend of aromas there. So it's spicy, toasty, and it has those dark berries. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, let's try it in the mouth and see what we get. Okay, now in the mouth, I'm getting some excellent acidity there. Some tannins, yes, um, but not aggressively so. Now the absolutely stunning aspect of this wine is its multidimensional nature. In other words, it has a fantastic aroma. It has a wonderful selection of flavors in there. So blackberry, plum, sour cherry, but also in the, 
in the mouth that's breaking towards dried fruit. Um, and you know, in the back there somewhere, hiding away, is also a touch of, of coffee there as well. So a wonderful, wonderful variety of flavors there. Nice acidity, good tannins. And the finish is as you would expect. It's long, dominated by those blackberries, toasty, spicy, and has that coffee and chocolate dimension to it, which stays with you. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, what is this going to be good with? Well, the answer, I think, is pretty damn easy here. This is a great wine to go with gr uh, game dishes. So maybe a little too much for duck or for hare, but if you have some nice elk or venison, this is the wine to go with it. And I'll give you another tip. Try a glass of Crushedu Superior with a nice lump of English Blue Stilton. That is a fantastic combination. Okay, let me bring you the heads up on this one here. We're talking Crushedu Superior. Where I am, it comes in for a price of just under 17 euro a bottle. That's a solid price. But I think in terms of what you're getting for your money, that is perfectly justified. So just under the 17 euro mark, this is a wine which has a fantastic selection of aromas and flavors to give to the drinker here. Great with game dishes. Serve it around the 18 degree mark. I'm going to give this Crush du Superior 2014 four stars plus out of five. Okay, folks, many, many thanks for taking the time to watch today's video. If you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard, please do give us a big thumbs up. And hey, you can also subscribe by hitting that big red button up there in the top left hand corner of your screens. I'll be back again next week with another great wine of the week. But until then, this is Tony Melville signing off and saying, hey, take care of yourselves, be good, enjoy your wines, and cheers. <laughs>